Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotion for you. My name is Natalie and this is Jules. And we're part of the team ministry here at Mainland Baptist Church. Today's devotional is titled, The Power to Do God's Work. And the scripture is found in Acts chapter 3 verses 2 through 6. And that reads, And a certain man lay from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go in the temple, asked an alms, and Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. And Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. When Jesus sent the disciples out to begin ministering on their own, he equipped and empowered them for the work. He also reminded them that what they were going to share with others had first been given to them. They were not the source of changed lives, healed diseases, and people believing Jesus was the Messiah. They were merely the messengers. Jesus said, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Matthew eight, Matthew 10, 8. Then before Jesus returned to heaven, he promised them that the Holy Spirit would come and give them the power to fulfill the Great Commission. That power came on the day of Pentecost, and it shook the world. A few days later, when Peter and John went into the temple and met a crippled man who was begging, they did not offer him financial assistance. Instead, Peter, relying fully on the power of God, told the man to get up and start walking. This story reminds us of the importance of dependence on God rather than on ourselves. Vance Havner said, The church can't say, Silver and gold have I none anymore. We can't say rise up and walk either. If we fall into the trap of relying on our own strength, wisdom, and power, we will inevitably fail. Only when we are walking in the name and the power of Jesus Christ can we triumph over the enemy. And today's growth principle is, if we rely on God rather than ourselves, we will find the power needed to do whatever task he gives us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this devotional. I pray that we would learn from it learn to face our full, I mean, place our full dependence in you and to just rest in you and get strength from your word. Pray that we would have wisdom from above and not from ourselves and that we would just be able to tell others about you and fulfill your great commission. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.